Hi, I'm Carl. I'm a small church pastor, and today I have a guest with me. Hi, I'm Veronica, and I'm a small church pastor's daughter. Yeah, that's right. That's that's my daughter right there. And she's here with us today because she actually does the thing we're going to be teaching you today. So she's going to teach me how to do it as you watch me learn how to do it. Because let's face it, in small churches, that's what happens a lot. We find our kids and they help us do the technical stuff. So today what we're going to do is she's going to show me how she does what she does with my photos for my articles and for Instagram. Uh, I She'll often find the photo and then I'll Pick one and say, I like it. You do with it what you need to. And here's what she does. She does it using this program called Canva. So you go to canva.com. Uh, you, you have to sign up for it, but it's free. So you go in, you register for it, you sign up, you put all what, whatever they ask you for, but it's completely free. Well, there is a premium option, but everything we use is free. And there's yeah. a ton of stuff we haven't even touched on the free. Oh, so much. So uh, if you haven't yet seen it, go back and watch the previous how-to video about how to find high quality uh, photos online for free and legally because we want to use our photos legally. So what I'm going to do in this one is I'm going to show you one of those photos that we downloaded in the previous video and show you how to actually manipulate it. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to upload it to Canva. We're going to show you how to cut it to the size you want. And we're going to show you how to put print on top of that photo. Yes. Those are the three principles. And you're going to show me how to do that. Yes. Okay. What do I do? Okay. So here's Canva. When you first get into it, it can look a little overwhelming because there's a lot of options, but I'm going to show you where to go at first so that you can just start off. Okay. Right. So right at the top right corner, you see that purple button, uh, create a design Click on that. in there. Oh, oh, hang on a second. Oh, there we go. This is what will come up. That was, that was <laughs> something, something else. else. Okay. Okay. So create a design. This is going to give you a whole bunch of suggestions. Now, for an Instagram post, you will see right there, it says Instagram post. That's okay. what I use when I create the Instagram post to go along with a blog post. Okay. Um, and it's it it will work the same way as what we're about to show same you. Same way for Instagram stories. Mm -hmm. so, the, so these are things that we know what the size should be, or they know what the size should yes. be. So we just click on it and then they do, they do some of that work for us basically in advance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you're going, I need to make an Instagram post, I have no idea what those dimensions should be. They do. Just click on it and they, you're good. Okay. Um, and there's a whole bunch of other options there as well. That's not what we're going to use at the moment. Down towards the bottom, yeah. you'll see two options. You'll see edit photo. That is just simply to upload a photo from your computer that has already been cropped to the appropriate size. Okay. Custom size is what you use when you know the size you want and you haven't cropped your photo to it yet. And that's actually what we're going to use at the moment. Okay. So we'll click on custom size. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we've already, because we do this all the time, that's the size we use. So whenever you read an article by me, that basically TV, wide TV size photo mm -hmm. is 1240 by 697. So it's already entered. If it isn't entered, that's just where you type, you just type the numbers in here and here, right? Yes. And you designate it pixels, create new design. Yes. And, and here is your blank frame. This frame will not change size. So you know that no matter what you do in it, that is going to be the size of your project. Got it. So now what I want to do is upload the photo to mm -hmm. it. Right? So go to the left-hand side. You see a menu bar there. Go to uploads. Okay. Uploads. There you are. And this is going to give you an option of everything that you've uploaded. Okay. So to upload a new image, you'll go to upload media. And you'll choose where you want it from. We are going to get it from our device because we've already downloaded it to the computer. Well, the cool thing about this, though, is if like if you got it already on your church Facebook page or on right. your church Instagram, you can click from there and actually manipulate it further. Yes. That's nice. Yes. So it's on my computer. I'm going to pick this one here. I'm going to open it. And we've used it before, as you can see. But that's Just how you bring you. it up. It's got that cute little graphic where it looks like water. Sometimes if it takes too long, you'll see a submarine float by. It's kind of cute. Oh, okay. <laughs> right. So how do I put it here where I want so, it? So to get the photo onto your workspace, you don't even need to drag it. Just click it. Okay. So the new one we just put up. Oh, oh. there we are. Okay. Yep. So now you'll want to take the corner circle okay. and just drag it until the photo fills the entire space. Okay. So drag it. So there, there you we go. go. Now, part of what I did in the last how-to video was I told you download the biggest size possible, and here's why. Right now, it's filling the frame, and it's still very high quality because this is a monster photo. It's like 7,000 by 8,000 pixels, which is ridiculously big. I can make it, I can zoom in. So how do I zoom that in even closer? 
What do I do? You keep just dragging keep, out. Just keep mm -hmm. dragging it out. Dragging okay. is essentially effectively zooming in and out. Okay. So when so you drag out, drag in. Mm -hmm. it out. So now I've got that and. You can click on the photo, drag it around to move it for, so oh, that the okay. placement is where you want it. Okay. So I can, I'm going to put her slightly to one side here, yeah. just because I think that looks nice there. So there's the photo that I want to use. And it's already preset to the size that I selected before. It's yes, 12. That size will not change. Okay. Correct. Okay. So now we want to add some text. So go back okay. over to that left side menu mm -hmm. to the giant T that oh, says there we text. Go. Okay. This is going to give you a bunch of options. Um, you've got your simple ones at the top, plus a whole bunch of designed ones at the bottom. Yeah. Okay. As I'm showing you these, <laughs> let me just give you one warning. Unless you have a very, very, very specific reason to use something this fancy, stay away from them because it looks kind of cool and you want to use all the tools, but very quickly you will look like a kid who's playing with new toys and everybody will be able to spot that. I, I'm a real fan of simple photos with a really simple type over them. That way you're emphasizing the message and not how cool tools you found. Right. Okay. Yes. So they're so, there. Sometimes they work, but we're not going to use any at the moment. Yeah. Okay. So I'm, I like to use the add a subheading. You have the option for add a heading. Mm -hmm. It's a bit um, large and bold for what I typically do. Okay. So we're going to go to add a subheading. Right. Click on that and it gives you a text oh, box. Yeah. All right. Type in whatever you want. Okay. Uh, do I need, oh, I, sh I unhighlighted it, didn't I? <laughs> so I if you kept it highlighted, so you can just start so, typing. So I just needed to type there and I, okay, so I won't, now, now I need to, <laughs> okay, so. Uh, how to have a healthy, uh, let's make it a cap, a healthy prayer life. There's, okay, we're going to start a series on how to have a healthy prayer life. We're going to use this photo and there's our title. Okay. All right. So now you have your text in there. It's preset to all of the add a subheading settings, okay. but if it's not exactly what you want, you can change it. So highlight the, what you just typed. Okay. And then at the top, you'll All see right. a whole bunch of options, very yep. similar to Microsoft Word. Yep. The font, font size, color, bold, italics, orientation, all of that stuff is up there for you to um, change and manipulate the text from here. Okay. And just like over here, don't go through and start picking all of these fancy things here. I. I that we have this image in our head that somehow if I get this really fancy script thing that that's what the professionals use. That's in fact the opposite. They go for really basic, clear, readable stuff. So I really highly recommend a sans serif and a simple font and the open sans, which is kind of their default, works just fine for, the, for our illustration today anyway. So, okay. So let's, what do we want to do with that though? You might want to make it a little bigger if you okay. want. So go to the font size there, the 28. Okay. And click on that. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And then does the, again, just like Microsoft Word. So yep. let's make it nice and big. Let's go with a Ooh. 50. That, but what I want to do is I want to put <laughs> it just here, like in a square. So how do I do that? Okay. Uh, at the end of the text, all the way at the right side of the text box, you'll see a white, a thick white line oh, there. Drag it there. on in. Just, oh, okay. And as I move in, mm -hmm. it centers it for me. Yes. And you can go up and change the orientation in that top menu bar, of course, if you want it. Um, oh, okay, here? Yes, if you want it aligned left, aligned right, gotcha. the default will be the center. Yeah, don't, don't use that. To just, yeah, that's not good. Okay, we'll keep it centered, okay. <laughs> and so I want it higher, what do I do? All right, uh, just click on the text box and drag it where you want it to go. Oh, sorry, click off, there we go. Now oh, click on it. If you, on. if you click on it once, you can move it. If you click on it twice, as in double click it, you can change the text. Okay. So it is a, it is a little bit of a detail there. Okay. And the basic rule, of course, for the, for the color is white on a dark background, uh, black on a light background. And unless you've got a very, very, very specific reason for it, stay away from colors. Because again, it's one of those, it looks like you're playing with toys. Um, and you want to go with simple white on dark and, and uh, black on, on light. So now I want to add just the church website so people know where this is happening. How do I do that? Uh, you can choose the add a little bit of body text. Oh, that's very it's clear. It's going to give you a nice small. Okay. So I'm going to put the church's website in here, cornerstone, fb for fountainvalley.com. Did I spell it right? Nope. No, I did not. <laughs> add the R. 
cornerstone. And so, now you'll see this text box is very small, which makes it a, a little harder to grab like you did the other one. Right. So it gives you an option underneath. You see two circles. Right. One is two arrows swirling on each other that That's will allow you to tilt the text. Don't if do you that want. unless it's absolutely necessary. <laughs> that again is one of those games. There are times when we have to use it. I think you used it for our to Last create a watermark one, for the watermark right we, but, we want to make a watermark exactly. example without stealing someone else's watermark so i made a carlvaders.com watermark and that was how i did it i used that, that to tilt gotcha. it which made sense for what we were doing watermarks are never straight on yeah other, otherwise you very really just, very few exceptions yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so so how do i move it there so the other one so the other down? one yeah your little sort of arrows so and across there. that is how you move us when it's big enough mm -hmm. It doesn't give you that option because the box is big enough to just click on. Gotcha. When the box is small and narrow, it gives you that other little box okay, so to I'm choose. Gonna go in, I'm going to put it where I want it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to double click on that and I'm going to highlight because I want to make it a little bigger, but just a little, like maybe that's yeah, about right there. I think oh. that's a nice balance now. For me. So now that's it. I'm done, right? I've made a really nice banner sized photo with a title for the next series with where people can find it that I can put on Facebook or whatever. Or if I had used the Instagram choice at the beginning, this would be square. Correct. And I could put it direct to Instagram. Yes, but all of the tools would be the same. The text, the color, okay. everything else about it would be the same. It would just be the size of your workspace that would be different. Love it. Okay. Um, what, what else? Is there anything else? Like, before we say goodbye to everybody, is there anything else on here that I'm not aware of that we need to know. Sure. Um, a few little things. One, once you've got your text on there, if you decide you don't, you no longer like the way your photo is placed, you can double click on the photo. Okay. Did you double click on the photo? I did. There it is. Oh, there we go. You can move it again. Oh, so if your okay. original placement, if you are no longer happy with your original placement of the photo oh. or even the zoom, that's your option to go and move it again based on your text. Okay, but you, so you, but, but by having to double click, you're not going to click on it and move it by mistake and then go, oh no, I got to, because right. you got to specifically choose it to move it. Yes. But, yeah, okay. But gotcha. so now you can. So if you click, okay. so you can move it all over the place. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. And now if you click off the photo. Just watch up to the side, okay. you're back again. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, this does auto save. Okay, you see cool. up in the top blue bar, it's very light. It's almost hard oh, to right see. right there, yeah. All changes are automatically saved. So there is no save button. You don't need a save button. Um, so if I hit another tab and I delete this tab by mistake, I can just go back in and it will still be there where I left it because it saved it. Yes. If you go to your home page, it will give you your recent designs and it will be one of them. Nice. So it's nice and easy to find. Cool. Um, one other thing, if you are working with someone else on this, so for example, okay. I do this and sometimes I tell you, hey, it's ready to put on Instagram. Right. I don't have to email it to you. I say it's ready on Canva and he goes on Canva and finds it. The only way to do that is to share it within this. We have linked our accounts. So if you go up and click share, okay. you can decide to make it shareable to the carlvaders.com team. Gotcha. You see the little eye that has a slash through it. That means nobody else can see it right now. Okay. But if you click on that eye, Oh, on the eye. Okay. On the eye. Oh. You have options to give others in your team access to it. They can, And you can set it where they can just see it but not change it. So mm -hmm. if, if you're the person who's actually designing it and you know you've got somebody else in your team who likes to mess with it, you don't want them <laughs> to mess with it, they can view it, but yes. they can't edit it. Or you can send it to them with the ability to edit. That's right. Yeah. So if you were working with another person and you know you do one part of it and you've decided another person's going to do another part, you can set it up, say, hey, it's ready for your turn, and they can, you nice. know, whatever it is you need with your okay. team, it's available. Or with somebody who's not already on it, you just type their email in here and it, it can go to them as well. Yes. Oh, very nice. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, th there's a ton of stuff on Canva. We're just beginning to learn it. There is so much more even on this page that I could point out, but that's, yeah. oh, the title. It automatically gives you a title based on what you type on oh, the screen. Oh, there we go. Okay, yeah. We did not touch that. That's right. But it, that that's because we put it in the body. Okay, because mm -hmm. most that's one of the advantages of Canva is they they anticipate what you would normally need and give it to you. Yes. That's that's pretty cool. Okay. Very good. Yeah. All right. Well, if you have anything you'd like to know about Canva, let us know. As we learn more, we will be creating more how-to videos. 
Uh, we also encourage you to subscribe either to our YouTube channel or to carlvaders.com. If you do that, you get these videos as soon as they come out, uh, as, much, as much as four days before we actually put them out to the general public in our regular articles. So uh, we'd love for you to subscribe. And um, as, as we learn more, we'll let you know. And if you have ideas, let us know. Thanks. See you next time. At least I will. Maybe Veronica sometime soon. <laughs> Bye. Bye.